Hi, so this is a small tutorial to kind of transform the 3D meshes in the way that uh, they'll be useful for us in our uh, programs further. So the first step would be to go to file and then import the mesh. So just select the folder where all the uh, files are gonna go and select a sample file that I have so it will load up based on your settings it may look dark or something else you can play around a little you see here uh, so back face you can kind of play around a little to change the colors. And uh, it looks pretty okay to me. So first step would be for you to determine where the umbilical insertion point on the placenta. Uh, for some of them, it might be a little difficult to find, um, for example, uh, I would say somewhere for this one it's somewhere around here um, so the goal of uh, the final goal will be to so let me turn on this you see this axis I would turn this on and you'll see like the X axis the Y and the Z the blue one is the Z so now you can scroll the wheel of your mouse to zoom in and out So the goal here is to have the insertion point at 000 and the placenta lying flat along the XY axis. So, so the red and the green axis are the XY axis. So the placenta should be lying flat along the XY axis with the insertion point at 000. So I'll have to not only translate this point here but also to rotate it. So here's how we are going to do it. We go to edit this like the manipulators tool so now here you will see a little guide of what you're supposed to do so now first t is to translate so that's just moving the placenta so if you press t on your keyboard you'll be able to translate the placenta if you press r you're able to rotate we are not looking to scale the placenta so don't bother about that so first i'm going to do translate so i'm going to hit t so now you can just select your mouse, move your mouse uh, along any of these directions, a left click, and it will help you move the placenta in that direction. So now, once you are satisfied with the moment that you have made, you can hit enter or if you think you would want to redo it or you could not like what was done, you can hit backspace. So in this case, I'm gonna hit written. So everything, all the instructions actually are here on the left, but now I'm gonna hit enter and you see how the arrows went off now, we are back. So now for you to be able to rotate this placenta around, you can hit escape once or select this not editing in that case you see this uh, circles coming around in different directions and that means you can move this placenta around if i unselect this then i cannot move the placenta around i'm back to manipulator tool where i can translate or rotate okay so sometimes for every step you would like to basically may want to see where you are in the overall picture so I'll, again this time i would like to rotate so first of all you will see that if the circles are on you're not able to hit t or r so you will hit escape and they will go off and now if i hit r it shows me i can rotate now there are three axes here, X, Y, and Z, where I can rotate this placenta about. 
So if I select X by hitting the letter X on my keyboard, you see just the X axis. So here's how I can rotate it along the X axis. Right? So sometimes you may end up doing a rotation and then translation again. So if I like this, I'm going to hit enter. All right now, in order to see the whole view again, I'm going to hit escape. So I see these circles again. I see where this plus center where I am. See how I moved from the insertion point, even though I selected it in the first step from translation doesn't matter. So maybe sometimes you would like to do the rotation first by for to make the placenta flat along the x y and then just translate the insertion point so i'm gonna hit escape so the circles go away i'm back to the manipulators tool i'm gonna hit r and this time i'm gonna rotate it up about the y axis so i'm gonna make it flatter and hit enter and then now I'm going to rotate it about the Z axis. Actually not, sorry. So in order to go back, I'm going to hit backspace. So that would uh, negate all my doings for that particular step. So now I think the placenta might be pretty flat in terms of how it should be along the X, Y. So now I need to translate it along the Z axis. So I'm going to hit escape to go back to the manipulator tool, hit D. Now I can translate. So I decide now I'm going to move it. Even here you can hit X, Y, and Z to tell in which direction do you want to move the placenta. Or you can just select uh, the scan with your mouse and just move it. So, in translate, move it along the Z direction. So, keep it moving till say. So, the goal is to put the center of the placenta along the X axis. So, I would roughly go to the middle and just stop it over there. Hit enter. I'm going to hit escape and see where I am in the overall view of the placenta. Now I want to translate it again so that this point, insertion point, is out here. So I'm going to hit T, escape T. And then I'm just going to move the placenta. Placenters. If I overall, if I want to rotate it again slightly, I can again hit escape, go back to the manipulator tool, and do the rotation. Uh, I'm assuming you get the goal over here. Once you're done with this, the next step is to go to filters. You see this mesh layer matrix, freeze current matrix and you're going to say apply this is a very important step because what happens is if you forget this step and just say file export as uh, the, the desired file format it's not going to consider the changes that you have already made like in terms of transformation so the file you will save with a new name will still be looking the same as the one you started with. So go to file and then here we'll say export mesh as and here um, so I'm assuming most of the files that you will import will be of .stl format and you would want to convert them into .plyy so like this is selected by default for me if it is not selected as a .plyy format 
and save it in a different folder on them. So create one folder for PLY images on the hard drive and save all the final exported images in that folder. So you can save that by the same name but with the file extension PLY. Okay, and then just save, let's save. And in this case, I'm just replacing an old file, but you'll be creating a new one. So I'm just going to say no, but in your case, you'll say yes. Okay. 